Hi. Hi, Scarlett. How are you? Yeah, I am working on the masterpiece. Well, um, that remains to be seen. <laughs> but that's the fun part. That's the fun part. Yeah, it's always good to read directions before you do something. Yeah, start over. <laughs> Helps to read the directions. You're supposed to sand it before you shine it. And then wipe it off with a damp cloth. Shut up. A little bit of uh, casing up right there. No problem. Now you come back. I guess I'll wait for it to dry. Yeah, it is for me. I'm kind of a inventor, experimenter, even though I don't do it that much. It's easier to look up and see how somebody else did it. I've used 
tools made for hot glue. I mean, cold wax, not even close. Huh? Uh, the little sanding tool, which didn't buff, but it would. Uh, Help sand off rough spots. What did I lose? What did I lose? There it is. And this little tool ended up being the best. This is one of those uh, ideology. It's got some heft to it. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Walls done with Venetian plaster are absolutely amazing. Most of the time they're done with a real smooth surface though. My Pompeii girl. There are so many people streaming today. It's hard to make a pick of what you want to watch. Of course, everybody knows they can catch them on replay. So if you're catching this on replay, feel free to skip over while I play around with this and see who all is going to come in. forward any time. I bet this is playing weird with my autofocus. I think I'll stop now. Who all else came in? Hey, Gail. How are you? I couldn't wait to get back into this.
Okay, here we go. Turn it around. This is another real good example on why I don't mix colors till they're the same all the way through. It's because I like having the variation from the, the pinks. No, I can't see that. Anyway, from the pinks to the more ivories. picked up a bit of the paint here but that's fine because if you were scraping Pompeii and old plaster off a wall you're going to get chunks I think that pretty much got me all the way around I did this once before y'all came on and then decided to look at directions. I was close to what I remembered, but Okay, this is what it does. Come on. You see the shine right up in that upper left hand corner that's what it's doing now because this is acrylic venetian plaster it's flexible see and it's not adding really much of anything to the to bother my page so I'll put that up and I will put these up later. This is what I did yesterday for a while. I didn't film. I just used up some scraps and made some tags. And I like my tag maker because even if it's bigger than the guides, as long as you center it in there pretty good, you can get a a good cut and then it'll leave long pieces here and just trim them off and then the back of it Barcelona gives you some writing room and here's another one because my scraps in my little bucket I'm really getting tired of but they're still too good to throw away stuff like this and then I made a couple of little collage pieces. These would be good in my where did I do? There it is. So you could do these in your spare time, slap a little paint down on a page and put one of these on it, and you've got an instant page. So that's how those can be used. Just made with scraps. Cool, huh? So, conceivably, you could um, take your little scrap bucket Let me move my 
washi tape bucket. You could take this to the, to the living room and a glue stick and just cut scraps and make tags and whatever you want to sit in front of the TV. And then you'll have some stuff to play with. Which means that um, when you start doing bigger journaling in your studio, you've already got elements that you can, you know, make a tuck spot in a bigger journal. You've already got some stuff to put in there. So I'll be making some more of those. So how's everybody else? Oh, thank you. I just think it's just cool. I think my concept is going to work. I've got to get a um, Pompeii picture up. Put the password in right. Let find this one real quick. Stamps and stamps, and there it is. Not exactly my goal, but it shows you what those things look like. Um, the plaster has been scraped off and that's not the best picture in the world let me go over to my pinterest i've got a board over there that pinterest is just great let's see i want to go there nope i want to go there i want to see my boards and I know you're in there somewhere. Where are you? Fairies, anyone? If I get an idea, I just go through the internet and just, I don't think this is it. Sculpting in 3D. Nope. don't think I will ever run out of things that I want to make or learn how to do. Charcoal soaps. Encaustic. Frescoes. Right past it. Went right past it. All right. So she looks really bad. Really rough. Uncle Hunkle Boone in love. See all kinds of spidery. But what was used to paint these is what I'm using here. More than likely. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I've got some in the wrong categories, of course. Mm 
<laughs> she frescoes all over Europe. Well, those are all the same stuff. All right, let's go to Safari. I don't want Pinterest. I want P O M P E I I Fresco. Saw her already. Mm -hmm. Well, I forget the sensual part, but yeah, that's the swan. Now these were painted with encaustic, more than likely. But you never know. So see, in their restorations, they had to get all the hardened volcano rock and stuff off first. And then assuming that no one had painted over the fresco. See? That's what I'm kind of got in my mind. Here's a good one. There's just vertical cracks. and So what I'm going to do right now is make some of these kind of marks, but I'm going to, and I'm going to add dimension to them. Y'all can't see that. So. You know that's what I'm going to do. Who else is here? Hi, Beck. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've been there. Um, I was studying with Charles Reed, and we took a day, free day, and went over there to study. I mean, study, to see it. And, you know, that's, it's a shame to be that close and not go. We were, we were staying up the Amalfi Coast. So I think it was like an hour and a half to get there. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Here's one of my... No, that's a power flow. This will work. It's a little tiny size two. So the first thing I need is some kind of an icky brownish color like that one right there. And my light is hitting here, which means my shadows will be on this side. Because the plaster is on top of my picture. As though someone, some woman came along and her husband was king, and she said, I don't like that woman looking at me. Get rid of it. So somebody plastered over it. Now we're going to see how this works. I found my um, hyperactive uh, glycemic um, shit. So, oops. Astigmatism glasses. They were in one of my uh, scrap bins. I told y'all I found them last week. I think this is going to work.
Except it wouldn't be right there, it'd be right here. Pay attention. The light's coming from here, so it would be on the inside edge of This will help me create the illusion of depth. I hope. And this is also why I've messed around with the texture. Because I knew I wanted to give it So not only do I have some real texture, that just helps create, help me know where to put my shadows. Whoops. Now this little shadow won't go all the way around. On the opposite side of this shadow would be a shiny spot, which I think I've pretty well captured. Let's finish these first. So this side, you'd be getting it. And my paint is real thin, which means it may it may not be that obvious.
drink water. Keep trying to look at chat. If anybody wants to verbal chat for me, I put the link in up upstairs. That's kind of interesting. Whoops. Wrong side. Doesn't really matter. It's an illusion. We'll let this dry a little bit and see how much of it fades. I'm real pleased with the way my palette has worked. Okay, who else have we got? It's a quiet day. I expect it. Okay, now what do we want to do? I'm mixing up just a little bit of dirty white. And that's the same color as the back of it. So I need a little bit of white or white. Just playing with the light. I'm not sure that that's.
This is the little tedious stuff that drives people crazy. You know me. Some things drive me into OCD madness and some things bore me to tears. You just never know. Now I can disappear some of those lines that are darkening. I thought they would fade more. But I can just kind of run that white, break up the lines a little. I like where the the color from her face pulled over into the plaster. I think that's pretty cool. How's it looking I'm out there in video land? Pretty good. I could also have taken um, a different color, like a brownish, you know, color. I'm going over some of those lines that I'm on. Put it on, wiped it off. I've probably got some wax that would work. Ow. Uh, nope. Oh, I drew that line. Let's have a few more of those. Not too many. I think this one's ready for a rest, guys. See any when you can't think of anything else to add, then it's time to stop.
accent patty's stencil have y'all seen her new ones she's doing um demos on them all weekend And there's a 33% off sale at iStencil. Okay, that's my concept for a bigger painting. Now let it rest and prop it up in the living room and see how I like it. And then I may come back and do some more stuff. I'll see something right now that this line's a little bit too thick. Okay, ta-da. Yeah, I understand. Hey, Joycey. We're calling this one um, done pending final approval. And I'm quite pleased with that. So, what do we want to do here? Today's face paint day, by the way. Hmm. Well, there's Priapus all over the place. Let's do this. Let's put a real one beside her. What do you think? Now I think I'm going to put... Oh, plaster on first. which will help with all of this look. There are no rules. Or use this big trowel instead of <laughs> a little bit of this, that, and the other. I'm just going to. Mix up a dirty beige. Okay. Looks like I've got some dried lumpies in there. I've got so many palettes in this studio, and my favorite ones are these plastic liners. <laughs> Let's uh, green it down a little bit with just a titch. Put that over there because I don't want much. I'm going to dirty it up a little. I got it dirty.
Should have stopped the first time. I'm going to put a little bit of my bright yellow in there. It's going to end up being kind of a celadon. That works. Thanks, Gail. Beautiful color I mixed there. Now I want some of all of this page to show. So if I say that's my circle, circle is unbroken. Scrape it a little bit. Now I need to come out, leave some room for a circle. A ring. I do so much better on the fly than I do um, planning stuff out. And I get through and go, well, damn it, that was good enough. I should have taken more time planning it. I like drawing a square instead of painting it direct. And I've got some gold flakes over there. Let's see, we're going to bring that on up. Wait a minute, that comes in, doesn't it? Are all of our artist friends being able to stay sane?
I like things to be a little, have a little extra air at the bottom, so. Okay. Now let me get another wet wipe. That's a beautiful color. Learn to mix colors. You don't need to have a tube of paint for everything. Okay, let me slip over here and get my go flakes. Okay, where did I get this? Cosmic Shimmer. I got it from um, Golden Jewels. I got this from Joggles. Put this over here. Put this over here. Don't sneeze. Woo. Don't breathe. Shit. Didn't know there were going to be big pieces. Okay, so next time I use this, I will open it inside the bag. Yeah, then. <laughs> Minor little setback. I think that, uh, oh crap. I don't know who that is. Okay, Brandy, Brandy and I both applied for census jobs, and he got hired right away. <laughs> I probably didn't because I don't really want to work, but $23 an hour is pretty good work for a couple months. 
selfish or not. Let me find my channel. All right. I'm not sure all of it's door to door. I think some of it's supervisory. Supervisory. It's my fancy pronunciation. It takes people to coordinate the people in the field. I'd get my feelers hurt if I was in the field. Oh, he was mean to me, Randy. All right. Now I've got kind of a raw umber, like wrong picture. Yeah, kind of a raw umber. Did I get a raw umber with this? See it? I mean, I was just telling y'all you have to mix. Here I'm going. What work? <laughs> Burn umber. There you go. I don't have that in my palette. Oh, that was the one that was so thick. I'll tell you what we'll do. That's why I went ahead and bought the medium. Oh, I've never seen a bottle like this. <laughs> I didn't check it. We're good. Probably need to store that on its head. Take more than that. Oh, it's real thick. And in the bottom of the jar. Real thick and gooey. Okay, that ought to do it.
I'm making this up as I go along, guys. But once you are a little bit familiar with the main mediums, oil, watercolor, acrylic, then they're all pretty much the same except for that binder thing. Now you saw me just mix that in with the plaster. I didn't talk about what I was going to do. Breathe. Okay, I'm calm. Have y'all followed art archaeology yet? You need to. She's doing some great videos. She's on our on Robin's Jelly Team. She did a project using my printables, which are still free for a while. Okay, we got that done. Da, 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 da. Clean the brush off. Yeah, what am I going to use that on? Let's, um, let me get a board to put it on. It's already setting up. See what I mean about mixing? Just gives you an interesting color. Just let them mix on their own. Now I get these boards at Jerry's Artorama. Buy one, try one. Buy it, try it. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know what we've got in there. We've got a good book. Yeah, there it goes. He's really getting gummy. That's okay. That'll give us another good board to play with. I don't care. Just get it on there. It's not going to get flat. See, I'm learning how to be relaxed. <laughs> there. That'll give us a good board. Where are you going to put it? That's going to work. Mm -hmm. 
Got to clean these so we can save them, right? Okay. There. there. Okay, let me check y'all. I got to be more careful about getting stuff on my computer and my phone. Okay. Um, let me look. I think I just got a... Archaeologist. Art archaeologist. I guess I get the, get the blank, huh? Hey, good thinking. There. And the other one is Soul Rain, R E I G N, and that is, um, you know, what's your name? <laughs> it's in the description below. I should have told you that. <laughs> oh, God. Now, what am I going to do? Oh, I was going to draw this just a little. Well, you know what? I'm going to not. Now, remember I told you the other day that stay. All right, put this up. Whoops. I want y'all to see it. <laughs> Assuming. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh. Now remember that they paint into wax. And I don't know where my Richardson brush is, so I'll just use this SAA and be real careful with it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is mix a skin tone. Add some yellow over here. No one's that smart. Yeah, it's been, what, two weeks, three weeks, and it's just now starting to gum up on me. But... It's enabled me to keep a palette going, which is good, and I don't want that blue in there. Wipe up some of that wet. Now, the other thing I was doing, I was putting a fresh wet uh, wipe in with it, and I quit doing that a couple of nights ago. So I think that must definitely help. A little bit of that raw amber over here. Maybe just a touch of the green. That's what I said. Loaded up with green.
Okay, so now her face, let's see. Let me get my circle. Will the circle be broken? Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, that's close. Okay, so her eyes are right about here. Close. And this one is right in here. And an eye width puts it out over here. And then we're going to come down the nose. And we're going to come under the nose. And then we're going to do the upper lip. And then the mouth. And then under the lip. And this is going to be an oversized eye. Let's just sit on be in the window. We got about this much over here. And it's tilted that way. So where's the eye? There's where one ear is, and then the bottom of the nose. And then we have an ear. Okay, now straight down from that eye, we have a neck. And straight down from this eye, we have a neck. And a little bit off. And then oops. Need a darker. Yeah, I'm way, way off. That's okay. We've got a triangle shape in here. I'm painting into the wet tempera, which is supposedly what they did. And she got a huge eyebrow. Then we've got a hand. Can't really see a ton of it, but it's right in here. And then the that side of the arm is here. Now she gets hair. Okay. 
Okay, I think what I'm going to do, since I measured and then ignored it, I'm going to bring the hair out of the circle. Well, this is what you call, you're not going to have a, <laughs> you're not going to have a real smooth painting here, Vic. There ain't no way. Very unrealistic. Right now she gets a shoulder. Put this back in here so I don't forget it. Where it is anyway. Wait a minute, she's got, is that a thumb or a finger? It's hard to tell. Here's the thumb. I don't even think they've got the right hand up there. And then we've got, let's see, that's her arm. No, this is her arm. Glow coming behind it. Yeah. Are y'all having fun? Beautiful puppy.
Now these uh, icons, especially the ones that were created out of encaustic for the death mummies, you had your, if you were wealthy, you had them done before you died. were always done with very enlarged eyes to keep the demons away or the gods or whatever, angry gods, I guess. This stuff sets up really fast. Which is a good thing, I guess. I'm painting fresco. Nasty maple jello. Sorry. Didn't have to pay for this. I better shut up. And the red.
I'm gonna put that down for a minute, not on that wet thing. I need to drink water, need to check on if y'all are behaving. Okay. Whoops. All right. Bye, Gail. Okay, nothing going on there. We're down to three, so catch y'all on a replay. Now I need some water. I need a dork. I am very surprised at how this is going on. Now let's get a little more red.
I think I'm gonna have to wait for that to set up just a little. Get my little corner teardrops in, tear ducts. Uh -oh. That wasn't very good right there. Let's do that. For those of y'all who have joined or are joining or watching on replay, this is casein paint, casein paint on what was wet plast uh, Venetian plaster. And I just jumped right in and started painting on it. And amazingly, it's working. Now this is a Pompeii, newly discovered Pompeii, I might add. Um, fresco, which is what I'm doing here is a fresco. This is, um, fresco is casein on wet plaster. And tempera is casein on dry plaster. Isn't that cool? And if you are an expert, feel free to uh, drop me a line. If that's wrong, which it sure could be. Let's see, wait a minute. That thing goes like that and then like that. And that is her finger. And then you can't really tell what's going on in here. So that's how we handle that. And then we have a finger coming you just can't really tell where it's coming. So this, that. And I think those are under the. Not like that. Mm -hmm. See what we got. I'm gonna put those fingers under her chin. About like that.
white looks too chalky. I'm gonna get my little, I need to find out what that's called. This stuff is amazing. The casing, casing. Keep those doggy rolling. Nice, no, not yet. What? Okay, let's go back and see if we can get that iron right this time. This is going really fast.
We are getting somewhere. I don't know if anybody's left out there in my world, but I am just about through. And we'll revisit her again tomorrow. I don't know what Mr. is doing in there. I'll go ahead and put one finger out. Let's see, we've got some white cutting in. Like that yeah. just a glow. Well, I think that's going to soak in. Let's give it just a little. A little, little, a little bit of that nasty gold. Uh -oh. They sound like pit bulls, but they're, um, seven and eleven pounds. Hers looks, a, I mean, this one looks a little more um, old. But you know what? I think I'm leaving it for now. A little bit of gold. I think it's about time for me to quit. Are you doing uh, live? I am, and I'm just told everybody that my I've been called. You've been what? Called. Called for what? Are you still alive? I didn't say that. Oh, I thought you did. Bye.
I don't have her. I have her face coming straight at me here instead of having it off, having the nose over here. That's where I went wrong, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't finish the what time. Is it? Oh, it's just five thirty. I got some time. Okey doke. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we're getting something. And then we've got some hairlines.
already, think I'm probably should have quit a long time ago, but I think I'm done. Anybody that's still out there, this is a wiki attempt at a fresco on wet. Um, Venetian plaster. All right. And yes, we have one big eye because that's might be able to. Bring that down a little bit like that. Alrighty. Okay. I've got to clean my brush. Let's see if anybody's still there. Hi, Geo. <laughs> uh, bored, uh, rejoicey. Not really. Just getting tired. Oops, I don't want that to spill on the floor. That would be a royal mess. Did y'all see where I told you I went wrong? Her nose on the picture is over here, and I put it dead center. So that makes mine looking straight at you instead of looking over there. But let me pull it up where y'all can see it good. Doesn't look anything like her, but it doesn't matter. It's got some gold. Marty, <laughs> I am happy with that. I think everybody in the world is streaming these days. So, did you see this one, Joycey? So, I think I'm done with both of them. <laughs> you know me well, Joycey. <laughs> I could use a little bit of color in there instead of what I do with the brush. I'll put it in water. This doesn't need to be white, white. Oops. All right, that's not too bad for a day's work. I am, I am happy with that. Let me get it up here in screen. Of course, I probably shot one with my arm across it. So, what does that say? Yeah, Streamyard's having trouble with face Facebook, but that's okay. All righty. Y'all got anything to say? Or are you staying on board? Hey, Scotty. Hadn't heard from you in a while. How you doing? I saw your picture of you with your max on. I'm pleased. Might do some more of those. Pay more attention next time. Since I just sat down and said, oh, let's do this. <laughs> okay, that's the way I roll. Did y'all see my tags? I did these when y'all when we first came on. I showed you. I just did these from scraps and used my We Are Memory Keepers punch. And I'm using scraps to get rid of them. Here's some of my shellac tape. And here's another I'm getting bored with my what's in my scrap bag I can tell you that oh, I did three of these just little collage pieces made totally out of the scraps well, I guess that's just two no oh, there's three a boot a boot
Nice to keep up. Got to get it parallel. There. So those are good for putting in your little pocket planners. And you just got a page there, so you could sit in front of the TV and make these all day long. Ta-da. Thank Robin McClendon for that. All right, guys. That is already dry. That's amazing. Woo. Cool. All right, dears. Love you. And I will see you, I don't know when, maybe over the weekend. I'll do a pop-up and let everybody know. All right, see? Thank you. Good, Scotty. You take care of yourself. At least we know we're all going to get a little bit of money. That'll help, won't it? Okay, I'm going to log off now. I love you. Thanks for dropping by. And everybody that's on replay, I'll talk to you later, too. Bye.